like this is optical fiber the plastic optical fibers so light communications this cable Optical fiber, the basic principles, the propagation phenomena, the total angular numerical apertures, and fractional index. The how to find. So basically, we know optical fibers. What are the purpose? Is a communication purpose. Is one of the media or cables. The light propagations. This medium is a transmission medium. So this uh, optical fibers. There are uh, different layers. First inner layer is a core layer. Outer layer is a cladding layer. So light enter inside layer. Okay, it's a core layer. Light is a cladding layers. So, okay, the so light uh, propagation this core media or axis. Okay, so the basic principle. So the basic principle of optical fiber is total internal reflections. So total internal reflections is the basic principle of optical fibers. So next is uh, light propagations, what are the uh, phenomena? The first condition is, there are uh, different point of views. It's a pi uh, less than pi apsis. Okay, in this case, pi apsis is known as for critical angle. Pi is known as for incidence angle. Is a pi apsis is a critical angle value. So pi less than pi apsis, when the light media, Okay, refractor core media to cladding media. Like is a core media refract index n1, cladding media refract index value n2 value. Like this is a critical angle. Well, this angle is pi less than pi apsis when the light shows completely refracted core media to cladding media and does not uh, total internal reflections. Okay, so uh, this is one of the conditions. The other condition is it's a pi uh, equal to pi apsis. This angle should be changed, light like, slightly changed. Is pi uh, equal to pi apsis when the light source completely okay the light source okay is a transmission or, or traveling with the intermediate layers traveling in the intermediate layer like this case uh, light is traveling in the intermediate light when producing for 90 degree in the cladding surface areas okay and this angle is pi equal to pi apsis so next one, one other case is a pi uh, greater than pi apsis values. Okay, so pi greater than pi apsis when the light source completely reflected the core media, okay, completely reflected in the core media surface when this angle is pi greater than pi apsis. So okay, the critical angle is very much less than this thing, like a bar, incident by angles. Okay, this is a conditions value pi greater than pi apsis. The other one of the conditions is the probable possibility is n1 greater than n2. Okay, there are two conditions. Okay, this propagation phenomena of total internal reflections. Pi greater than pi epsilon, and is a n1 greater than n2 values. You already know that n1 mean for core media refractive index, n2 mean for carry media refractive index. So next we go to for another case for actual angular and numerical aperture calculations. How to find actual angular and numerical aperture? So uh, you know for optical fiber, there are two layers. How you know that? Like is a propagation axis. There is a cone angle. There is a B it's point A, the point O. This angle is input angle is I max. Okay, maximum angle as I max values. Like this, this outer outer surface is an as medium that is value for. Refract index n not value, the core media refract index value n1, cladding media refract index value n2. So, okay. 
So first of all, you can stir the two points, the points A and point A O. Okay, next is for consider the other point B. Just apply. Snell's law. Input refractive index is equal to output refractive index values equal. So input refractive index is point. Point A O. You consider the point A O. So input refractive index is equal to what's the answer? We are not saying I max equal to this angle is theta. So it is value for n1 sin theta. Okay. So sin I max equal to n1 by n naught into sin theta. So okay. in this case uh, sin theta, what is the sin theta's value? Well, you know that. So sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. So sin theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta is value for root. Okay. So that is the answer for sin theta's value. Just apply sin i max equal to n1 by n naught root 1 minus cos square theta. Now this equation number 1. Okay. Now this equation number 1. So next uh, consider another point B. Point B. Apply Snell's law, same point of view. Apply Snell's law, input refractive index into angle is equal to output refractive index into angle. So, is equal. so input refractive index angle, this point, input refractive index angle, this is output refractive index angle, angle is value, same. So, input refractive index value for n1 sin y of is equal to n2 sin 90 degree. So, sin y of is equal to n2 <laughs> sin 90 degree. So sin 90 degree is equal to 1. Okay. This value is equal to 1. So um, we consider for the value for sin pi of this value only. So we know that this case suppose we for find out for critical angles of optical fiber. So critical angles of optical fiber is this value for pi of c. So pi of c is equal to sin inverse into n2 by m1. So that is value for Critical angle of optical fibers. This is one of the formula or calculations. Okay. So next we find what is the mid value of pi absolute value. Just focus this particular area. Just focus the particular area. Okay. Just focus the particular area. So uh, this total angle is 90 daily. So particular angle is 90 minus theta. 90 minus theta. Okay. So this angle equal to this angle equal. Okay. So just apply pi of c is equal to 90 minus theta. So pi of c equal to 90 minus theta. Okay. Just apply pi of c is equal to 90 minus theta. So sine. 90 minus theta is equal to n2 by n1 values. Okay. So sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. So cos theta is equal to n2 by n1. Okay. Now this is equation number 2. Now equation number 2 substituting in equation number 1. Okay. Equation number 2 substituting in equation number 1. So sin i max equation 2 substituting in equations 1. Okay, so sin I max equal to n1 by n naught root 1 minus cos square. This cos theta is equal to sin n2 by n value. So 1 minus n2 by n1 whole square. So n1 by n naught root what answer? This n1 n2 square by n1 square. So n1 square minus n2 square divided by n1 square. So, okay. So, in this case, uh, yeah, 1 by n1 square is a common factor. So, root square root. So, n1 by n0 divided by n1 root n1 square minus n2 square. So, n0 in a cancellation. Otherwise, 
the ad media refractive index ad media ad media refractive index n not equal to 1 okay is ad media refractive index n not equal to 1 so that's why the equation says root n not square minus n to square that is value of sin i max okay that is value for sin i max so like this so this is equation number 3 okay so uh, Next, we will find for numerical apertures value. The sign of oxidant angle is known as per numerical aperture. So, you know, sign of oxidant angle, sign of oxidant angle is known as per numerical aperture. Here, I max is the oxidant angle, okay, or maximum angles, okay, to follow the total Indian reflection. So, that is value for numerical aperture. So, numerical aperture is equal to root n naught square minus n to square, okay, that is value for numerical aperture. Next, we find for uh, acceptance angle value. Like this is value for acceptance angle. So from equation four, equation, okay, no, from equation sorry, equation three, okay. So this is value for acceptance angle value. So I max equal to sine inverse into numerical apertures, okay, no, n to square minus n to square. It's okay, n to square minus n to square. This is value for acceptance angle. Next, we go to the fractional index. Okay, acceptance angle value, numerical apertures value, the numerical apertures value, acceptance angle value. So, we find out. So, in this case, next, we find for fractional index. Of optical fiber, the simplest delta. So, fractional index delta is equal to n1 minus n2 divided by n1. Okay, it's value for n1 minus n2 divided by n1. So that is value for numerical aperture value. So this is value for the n1 delta, the n1 delta is equal to n1 minus n2. So okay, n1 delta, n1 minus n2 is value. By this is equation number 4. Like this is equation number 4. Okay. So like this is value for fraction index value. So uh, we know that uh, n1 value is known as per when n1 is some uh, core refractive index value, n2 is a guiding refractive index value. Just apply for this case numerical aperture. Apply for numerical aperture's value. Already know that numerical aperture is equal to n naught square minus n to square. So is a square minus b square formula. So root n one plus n two. Let's say a plus b. In front of a minus b. Okay, n two a minus b is value. That is numerical aperture. We know that equation number four. Subtract equation number four here. Here. Equation of over n2 n1 minus n2 is equal to n1 delta. So just replace n1 delta. So root n1 plus n2 into n1 delta. Okay. Suppose if n1 equal to n2 or approximately n1 equal to n2. In this case, n1 approximately is equal to n2 is also n1. So 2 n1 value. So root. 2 n1 into n1 delta so root 2 into n1 square delta for numerical aperture so numerical aperture is equal to root n1 square so n1 root 2 delta okay so that is very for fractional index relativities of numerical apertures or optical fibers